Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trek YT here or Nick back at again with another little tutorial slash I guess tips video that you're gonna be able to look at to get a little bit of an inspiration on I guess a really easy simple starter home which some people I guess can overlook when thinking about starter homes because they think of something a little bit more I guess just useful rather than attractive because you can get a little bit of both if you do something like what I'm about to show you. So as you can see behind me we have seven blocks. These are all blocks that are relatively accessible when starting out in Minecraft. We got our regular oak log and then we have our andesite which can be turned into the polished andesite as you see on the far right. Cobblestone which can also be turned into uh, smooth stone bricks and then we have grass and we have leaves. These blocks are all very easy and most of the blocks are just cobblestone that has its own variations like the stone bricks and then the oak which can also be changed to different variations like logs and stairs. So these blocks are all pretty easy to just get from when you start off in Minecraft and you can use them in a com different combinations to make a pretty I guess good looking start starter home but we're also going to put a little twist on it we're putting the starter home in a cave if you hadn't noticed from the title so without further ado guys let's go ahead jump into a little I guess little uh, panoramic view and a little bit of a tips video on how to actually build this starter home that you can see right there so first things first when I'm going ahead and I'm doing this I first put two pillars just to I guess create a little place where I'm gonna put an arch and so right now what I'm doing is I'm laying out cobblestone because this is gonna be my roof of my like almost like little like canopy that I'm putting over the entrance to my base and then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna put some like grass on top of it so it's sort of becoming a cave again instead of just having this random I guess like arch coming outside of the side of this cave or this mountain so I'm now making it more I guess cave related so that way I'm trying to make it more I guess into this or into the I guess I want to say like wilderness or into the scene that's already there because I want to keep this sort of cave like because it is a cave starter home so right now I just went ahead and I put this little canopy on it and you can't see under it right now but you will see in a little bit but it does look still very much like a cave and so right now I'm doing some I guess beginner I guess terraform because you can do this terraforming right when you spawn on it in the survival because it really is just taking a current tree you don't even have to bone meal if you have a tree like all the ones you can see around you can still just I guess put some like I guess little wood blocks around them put some little I guess bone meal around them put some I guess leaves that if you do have two iron you can get shears and get leaves it's really not that hard because I'm literally just placing a couple of blocks and it just changes it dramatic or dramatically into something that looks a lot better and so what I'm doing now is I'm making the walls and as you can see when I was placing those walls just now I literally just placed a bunch a block so I could get a wall like it was not in any like guess free flow I mean, any like symmetrical pattern I literally just placed blocks at random so that way there was something there that I could start with to start detailing because after that I went back and I added stairs and cracked stone to detail a lot more and so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head on into the inside and I'll start on that now heading over on into the inside what I'm doing first is I'm just clearing out a little space I think it's like a five by five area and I'm just putting stone on the wall or stone bricks on the walls to just get a little bit of a layout going Going. And so my idea for this was just to have my chest set back in the wall back there where those logs are just so they're set out of the way a little bit and then I'm going to put my bed on the left side right there just to maximize space and I put that on a little log just to add a little bit of detail to my little area because you can turn a 5x5 five five area into something that looks pretty pleasant and most of what's going to come out of that pleasant is having like one wall that's a little bit more detailed like that chest wall and then having a very detailed ceiling which you'll see at the end of this video because from this angle you will not be able to see the ceiling and on the floor I just did a random random pattern of andesite and polished andesite and then just cobblestone because I thought that would be a good combination of blocks and right now what I'm doing is I'm just I guess trying to find creative light sources as you can see there's two light sources on the far right and on this side you can see that little torch right there which is sort of hidden away and right here I'm doing the roof and then that's basically it so guys it is complete now we're gonna take a little bit of a walkthrough just so you guys can see exactly what I did so let's look at a little bit up top so as we saw in the little I guess time-lapse type thing we did have two trees that we spawned and then they basically are just the normal tree except we added leaves right here and right here and then we added wood here that is three blocks that we added to make this little bit more of a better looking tree and then we knocked out the corner so it was a little bit more rounded and then we added these hanging down leaves right here just to add a little bit of look at overgrown look to it and so on the inside you can see right here basically we have one flat wall right here and one flat 
wall right here. And then we have a little bit of, I guess, depth going on in and out throughout this thing just to add a little bit more detail because a flat wall is very boring. So depth is a very, very important building trick, which I've repeated a thousand times, but it's something that is a basic st uh, stepsing, stepping stone when creating something in Minecraft. So we also went ahead and we added these, uh, I guess, cracked stone because it adds a little bit of a different texture into the already stone brick texture, but it is also very, works very well with the already current stone texture. We added some buttons as well. That's a little trick that I like to do with stone walls. It adds a little bit more depth and also blends in very well with the block selection. And then we do have our little canopy, which is made out of the cobblestone. And we have these two pillars that are holding up to make everything look a little bit more realistic because something in Minecraft that looks realistic just makes something a little bit, I guess, better looking because if it looks a little unrealistic, it doesn't look as good in my opinion. So heading on over into this inside area, we have a very small area, but it's a very, very, I guess, operational, I guess, area because we got our crafting table in this corner anvil I guess our ender chest we could even do something a little bit more different with this if we wanted to add a little bit more detail to it but this works fine because it's just a starter home and up here we do have a little beam that's going across that has two I guess uh, trap doors going across it to, to make it a little bit more detailed that's a great little trick if you just want to add a little bit more detail in a place that looks very plain because without these two that looks pretty kind of ugly so I think that looks really good if you just have these trap doors right here it just adds that little bit more detail and I don't know why it looks good but I just think it does on the opposite side you have chests with a little bit of a like breakage in the middle filled with furnaces and over here on the left side and right side we do have two hidden light sources that is just a little torch up there because we don't have glowstone quite yet because it's a starter home so it still works very well if you hide away light sources you just have to put something to cover up the torch to make it a little bit more pretty up here we do have a little bit of a depth in our roof to just to add a little bit more detail to it it's nothing too major just stairs and slab I guess in a little of a arched almost thing right here which adds that little detail if you can just throw in a mini arch it looks great then we got our bed over here finishing things off with this little bed that's on an elevated platform that just adds a little bit more detail uh, it's just a little bit more subtle detail that for some reason just makes it look good because you're just adding a little bit more of a I guess detail to a spot I keep saying the word detail because that is key adding just a little bit more I guess a little bit more of something just makes something look a little bit better because if I had this flying on the ground it would look kind of like this over here and wouldn't look as good so if you just add a little bit more something to it it just makes it look a little bit more better so then on the floor we do have our little just random pattern on the floor nothing too major just a basic random floor and that's basically it for this starter home there's nothing too major to it just a bunch of blocks placed in strategic places to make things look really good if you guys did enjoy this video and found this quite useful these blocks and all this is very very accessible for when you start off in minecraft so if you guys think you can't do that you just have to put something down and get working and eventually you'll find something you really really like it's basically my motto or my way of building is i just get something down and i just keep working with it and i eventually find something that i think looks good so this whole build took me a whole 10 minutes it may take a little bit longer in survival but really this build is not too difficult and as you can tell it kind of looks pretty good it's kind of like a little I guess dwarven not dwarven like a little dwarf home I guess is what I'm gonna say because it's just I like it's in a cave so I think it looks pretty good if you guys think the same as me don't be afraid to drop a like on this video and as always guys I love you all see you guys later peace out